Hi my friends, today we model this part. You see it is a tool for machining. Very nice and very interesting. And this is the drawing with all the necessary dimensions. It is uh, this uh, part. You see this one. It is the uh, fourth one from that uh, 100, our target. We start by creating uh, this sketch to apply revolution. Take a look at the dimensions. They are very uh, exact because this is a standard object, the Morse 5 shaft. We start by uh, creating a new empty document. We take care to have this uh, option activated. These are the workbenches of uh, FreeCAD and we work to this workbench. New sketch uh, this plane and we draw lines. Polylines start from here to somewhere horizontal sloped also sloped down vertical you see this uh, mark and back to the center then we apply angles this is uh, 18, 8.18 8.18 then uh, this line with uh, uh, this partner line is 45 also this is uh, 45 degrees then uh, uh, this line is 155.5 this uh, cylinder it will be a cylinder of uh, thirty five point five divided by two. Okay. Then we draw two lines this is along this one I place it here and I make it construction as well as uh, the other one from here to the axis you see vertical here then we also apply construction to this line the distance of this 
to the center is 149.2 this is uh, three on vertical and horizontal then uh, uh, this point with this axis is uh, 36 point five four seven divided by two I told you this is a standard we select this point but let me place here another distance this line is uh, 44.399 divided by 2 then I place I select this point I select this line and I make them coincident you see this is collinear with this because of coincidence okay another dimension is uh, this point to this center of 19.5 now we see here a green all over the lines this means fully constrained my friends close we see better this uh, construction and we apply revolve but not about the vertical sketch axis but y axis okay let's see the object this is the object yes good next is uh, this uh, shape to be extracted dimension 30.5 radius 11 and this dimension 15.9 of course we select new sketch we select xy plane then let's see inside nothing is changed and uh, we create a polyline starting from this going up now i use that uh, trick from the previous tutorial triple m m m m and you see i have a continuation with an arc then i go down and back to the start this line must be vertical I select it and I apply vertical now dimensions this is 30.5 the radius 11 
uh, this uh, distance is half of 15.9 and that's all we have to be careful with uh, having this line outside of the body yes like this we can apply a dimension here to be sure of this we apply an arbitrary dimension between these two entities one millimeter good we have a fully constrained sketch close and we apply the tool pocket symmetrical and all the way through the part okay now we apply mirror of this last feature we select the pocket we select mirror and we select the plane the plane is uh, yz yz plane now you see the both cut okay the last feature is uh, this one 25 25 like the song 25 25 okay we use the plane yz we see inside and we select this line to be used then a rectangle from that line 25 tab 25 then we apply symmetry by selecting this point this point and this axis symmetry it is green close extrude with cut this is the pocket and we use symmetric and dimension through all yes okay well I forgot to apply this uh, radius to fillet but we can create it right now we select this edges by keeping press the control key on the keyboard then we apply not one millimeter but two using the wheel of the mouse you can obtain another value okay that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye